Listen, go in the glove compartment. Go in the glove. What's going on? What, where you at? Why they, why they won't let you go? God. Listen, man. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. It's all right. I'm finna get out of here. Oh, you that, oh, I, go in the glove compartment. I got $400 in there. What is that? What, what, you got 400 Listen. You know what I'm saying? With a hot bitch, you scared to tell a hoe you got $400 in the glove compartment. This bitch gonna take that shit and run. God damn. You gotta find a you gotta find a whole scheme before you call that bitch. Look, go get my mama. <laughs> go pick up my mama in the car and give her the phone. You know what I'm saying? As much as I appreciate you fucking with my channel the way you do, if you not moving forward in life, I pretty much fucking failed. I don't gotta ask you if you tired of being broke. I don't gotta ask you if you tired of the coworkers at your bullshit ass job. I do not have to ask you if you tired of the way your family looks down on you. But what I do have to ask you is how much longer you gonna wait to do something about this shit, big on? Call this fucking number. Let's get something moving in a forward, positive, northward direction. Call this number. I told you this. Get your shit together, big homes. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation, and this is... I don't have... I still don't got my damn vape. Um... If you do not have your Are You Serious t-shirt or your Big Facts Podcast t-shirt for your girl, uh, shout out to all the ladies who've been, uh, that's why, motherfuckers be wondering why the fuck I gotta keep fucking repeating this shit. First of all, there are more people here than just you, my nigga. I understand that you, That you doing, you know what I'm saying, you're following the three S's, um, preferably the second S. So, you don't, you know what I'm saying, you thinking, you, you watch this shit by yourself, which is very good. You focusing, but there are, like, every, daily, 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 there's, daily, there's at least, at least 50 subscribers, at least 50, period, um, that come to the channel. I'm being modest at that, too. But at least 50 new people come. They don't know this shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't know the shirts, how much they cost. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what PayPal to go to. There's two different PayPals, all that shit. So I have to make sure. You know what I'm saying? If you are really an AO Nation, um, not saying that you're not a real AO Nation member if you don't know this, but the people who have been here damn near from the beginning, remember the Rollo video. That Rollo video was not my first video, but that video was my first 100,000 view video. If I didn't give, you know what I'm saying, if I didn't treat that video just like I treated all the rest of my videos, oh, everybody already know this shit, you know what I'm saying, then... That's a hundred thousand people that would not have got gotten what it is I was trying to say. So I have to do that. And the only reason I'm addressing this shit is not because no one said nothing about it. It's just that I feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to say the same shit every show. But in my mind, I have to understand, even though I don't want to say that shit because I feel corny and fake saying some shit over and over again. This is all a part of getting yourself together. Um, you can't do this shit street and hood forever. At some point, you have to show some type of professionalism. And a part of that is treating every new person the same way you treated your day one people. So the same thing that you got when you first got here, the new people are going to get the same thing. So those new 50 people today are going to get to see what, you know, has been seen from the beginning. The only thing I don't get to do is 
tell everybody. I don't get to tell everybody every episode about the three S's, the golf course, and what exactly the rap trap entails. But I expect for people that like the channel, like the content, and are thinking about being a part of AO Nation to go back in the archive and see what the fuck, you know what I'm saying, these things are. Um, I've, we have developed our own vocabulary, and if I explain each word, I'm going to waste even more fucking time. The videos is already, you know what I'm saying? So, let's do what we always do. If you do not have your Are You Serious t-shirt or your Big Facts Podcast t-shirt, um, the shirt's going for $20, the PayPal for those are right here. Um, your Big Facts Podcast Scullies go for 15 your Big Facts Podcast Snapbacks go for 20 As I said, the shirts go for 20 also. Um, make sure you put your, not name, You obviously we need your name because we're mailing it to you. Um, size, color. I'm, I was like, I'm, I'm, you don't understand. You, you don't understand. Um, size, color, address, and which shirt you want if you're getting a shirt. Um, also, that PayPal is not the PayPal that you use when you're donating. And this is the real reason why I don't like repeating myself every episode for this shit because I lose. Spunk, you know what I'm saying? I lose. I don't have no. I uh, uh, this PayPal, not the PayPal you use. Uh, this PayPal is right here. Uh, thank you for donating. It's not. It's not. Um, what's the word for realistic? I'm tired. What's the word for it? Um, whatever that word is. It's not that. You know what I mean? And I want it to be that. You know what I'm saying? So you understand, like, dog, you are the reason. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this, like, and I'm not. Nicki Minaj or, you know what I'm saying, one of these faggots and shit like that. I'm really telling you, like, in real life, if, uh, you, like, if y'all wouldn't, if y'all wouldn't rock with me the way you rock with me, and not even just with the donation and shit like that, I'm talking about, like, with you watching the videos religiously, um, as soon as the video come on, you know what I'm saying, I get a thousand views in an hour, period, period. The first hour is a thousand views, period. First day, first 24 hours, there's at least 20,000 views on the video. That doesn't get done, you know what I'm saying, unless there are real fucking people just really rocking with this shit hard by it. And even though right now we talking about Takashi and shit like that, I just, I just really need that to be understood that it kind of irks me to give a... What is it? A script every time I come on simply because I have to, because you have to handle business. And I don't have no fucking network. I don't do it. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no network. Ain't no, no one's telling me I have to do this, but I understand. You know what I'm saying? You do have to be professional. You do have to give every new person what you gave. You know what I'm saying? Those people uh, from the beginning, you have to have a, was it standard? Um, of how you do things, you need to be consistent. Um, but we talking about the people that keep this show possible, and I have to give them the same tone of McDonald's, not even a Chick Fil A. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give them the same fucking tone that McDonald and Burger King workers give the motherfucker when they pull up to the drive-through. They even choose Burger King. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't give a fuck. You don't, you don't care that I chose Burger King. You really wish I didn't choose fucking Burger King. The fuck this motherfucker pull over here for Burger King right there. I'm in one of those cities where, well, I guess that's every city where the Burger King is right across the street from McDonald's. Shit is crazy. But yeah, that, that PayPal that you donate to is right here. Uh, the 25th will be the first. Um, first day that we actually do the AO Nation donation conversation where I shout out every donation of that week. Um, you leave a PayPal note if you do not want to be shouted out, but um, 
if you want to get shouted out, you know what I'm saying, write that shit down, and we're going to go through it, whatever like that. It's going to be a special show every week, you know what I'm saying, on a Sunday of every week, we'll be doing that, like, shouting them out, whatever. Um, I might do it every two weeks, whatever like that, so they don't get mundane. Um, so, we have all that. Let's get to work. All right, today we're talking about Takashi bitch. All right, so Takashi obviously is uh is over with form, and when I say over with form, I mean life as he knows it. Uh, that that upward, you know what I'm saying, spiral that he was on, that violent upward spiral that he was on, is now over. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time to come on back down, and that's something that we learn in life. No matter how many shortcuts you take, you still end up going at a normal speed. Because for all the ups you had, you're going to have just that many lows to where it evens out. The universe is perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's perfect. Um, What you give it, you're going to get back. But being that he is not a street nigga, he's not who he pretended to be. And this is a part of that life that he perpetrated. Uh... Jail, violence, death, sorrow, depression, darkness, sprinkled with extreme fun, you know what I'm saying, is all part of this shit. And prison is something that is guaranteed to a gangster. It is guaranteed. That is yours. That is yours to have. You know what I'm saying? You gonna get that. You gonna you going to prison. Ain't no like it, dog. When you a real street nigga, you a real gangster. You going to prison. If you haven't went to prison, you telling. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, the nigga telling. Oh, he already did. Because ain't no real gangster ain't not going to prison. My nigga, come on, you a gangster, my nigga. You do gangster shit. You gotta practice to do that shit. Practice makes perfect, but only because you have to fail at it. And when you fail a armed robbery, home invasion, a murder, attempted murder, when you fail, that means you get caught and you do time for it. And that's not shit that you go to jail or you go to prison for these things. Real gangster, real street nigga. Not the new definition of gangster. Well, you know it's gangster nigga. Gangster taking care of your kids. No, dog. That's being a good father. That's being a good man. Gangster is killing people, selling dope. Being a outlaw. I break the law. The law is to do this. I do the opposite. Gangster is no, there's no bending of the word. But let me get back to it. All right. Also, a part of being gangster is you have a bitch. You know what I'm saying? You have a, a, a bad bitch. Um, but when times get rough, that bitch is going to do what, you know what I'm saying, gangster bitches do. Bitches will have you believe, I'm going to hold it down for my nigga. I'm going to hold it down for my nigga. But that that's the same hoe they're saying, uh, nigga, you wasn't there. You went to prison. You, you went to prison. You left us. You, bitch, you knew I was going to prison when I was on the run. When we was in the bed, you were saying, I, when I asked you, I asked you, I, I said, what you going to do if they get me? What you mean what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold it down and anybody, any nigga say anything, I'm going to wet his ass up. That was up. The bitch start giving you head and shit like that. That type of rider hoe is the same type of rider hoe that after a year and six months of you being in that bitch. What the fuck, man? I ain't called this whole goddamn. You on a cell phone now? You on? You know? You, like you? You couldn't get in touch with this hoe, so you didn't have. You didn't have to ask the nigga around this bitch that got the phone. Like, man, let me use the phone right fast. I, 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 I didn't want to use it right fast. I think it's something going on. It's an emergency. 
You didn't have to run a whole skit to this nigga just to let this so, so you can use the fucking phone just so you can stalk this hoe. God damn. And you call from a, a foreign number so you can catch the hoe because you know she doing something wrong. It's only answer the phone in nine days. Hey man, what's up, dog? What's up? What you mean, what's up, Neil? What you mean, what's up? Yeah, nigga, who the fuck is Keisha? Hey, dog, hey, listen, listen, listen. No, I ain't gonna listen, ain't no. No, listen, bitch. You been know about Keisha, ho? The fuck you think is here, bitch? You been know about Keisha? You been know about her? You been, I, bitch, I wasn't asleep that night when you went through my phone after that hoe had just called. I woke up, the message was open. The message was open. You had, you know who the fuck this hoe is. Why the fuck are you acting like this now, hoe? That was, bitch, I've been fucking with Keisha for two years. What the fuck you mean who is Keisha? You know Keisha. Bitch, why the fuck you ain't answer the phone? Ah, oh, no, nigga. I ain't with that shit, nigga. Nigga, sit there and die. Bitch, you better put that money on my books. Bitch, hello? Hello? No, this whole trip. No, no, bro. Hold on, bro. What one? And that don't that don't come till you know what I'm saying. That don't come till after you know it's been so many fuck ups with your money. You know what I'm saying. The first two months that shit run like a well oiled machine. You know what I'm saying. Like we gonna we gonna run this bullshit. Nigga, what the, ain't nothing. Nigga, what the fuck? Is, but, nigga, we gonna eat up no, every night. Nigga, what the fuck nigga. Nigga, four soup. No, what the fuck nigga. Just wolfing in that bitch. I'm talking when you get to prison because everybody gonna ride while you in the county. Everybody gonna ride in the county. Everybody waiting, and you know it. You know what I'm saying? What everybody is waiting for is that showdown. When you go to the show, you know that right there is gonna let every fucking body in that courtroom know how they need to treat you. You know what I'm saying? If you get anything, I'm going to be, nigga, you get anything more than three years, and I'm being generous. Who I'm being generous? Because it's really, it's really a year and a half, to be honest, dog. To be really, I'm, and this this is only if you got if you got money, if you actually got money and a way to get money when you get out. You know what I'm saying? But because it's different situations. You know what I'm saying? Because if you just got money, for, like you you got a bullshit ass, uh, you, you got hit by a truck or some shit like that. You got a ten dollar ten thousand dollar settlement or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And you been tripping out, so you really folks they count your money, especially a bitch. She, like, this nigga ain't got number 4,000 left. Like, some shit like that, like, you better hold on to that foe while you locked up because as long as you got that and they don't see you spending that shit, motherfuckers will stick around because they want they still want to spend your money and shit like that. But, nigga, you be them goddamn got down to your last rack, it's over with. Because they know that when you come home, you ain't got nothing but a band left. You know what I'm saying? That shit going to be gone. Nigga. You going to snort that up. You going to smoke that shit up. They know how you operate out this bitch. So, it's different for different folks. But even if you got money and, like, 6 9 whatever like that, you got money... And a way to get it when you get home. Three years is what they're going to give you. You better pay attention to Bobby Smurda. You better pay attention to Finesse two times. In that courtroom, if they give you more, when they start talking about um, 20 to life and... 15 to life and uh, 10 years or that 10 years uh, no good time 
They start, you know what I'm saying? It's over with. You should already know that you going to, like, you, you should already know that you got about a year and a half to get your affairs in order, make the relationships you need to make in prison. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be in that bitch by yourself by the second year. The beginning of the second year, you are a prison nigga. You are living in prison. Ain't, you know what I'm saying? So you need to be stockpiling and you need to be nice to folks because it ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't going to rain. It ain't going to rain long. It is not going to rain long. It's going to get real dry in that bitch. So you need to be, nigga, ask you for a suit. Don't got, don't shit on niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's if you ain't no hoe, too. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's if, you know, that, that's, and that's what I'm saying. Like, that's, if you a hoe, you know, then you just, you really just dead in that bitch for real. Because you ain't, ain't nothing gonna come no way. You gonna be trying to keep, you gonna have to give your shit away. You gonna be trying to keep your shit. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas taking that shit. So it's, you fuck anyway. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm really giving it. I'm giving the 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 regiment and the requirements for a gangster. You know Even I'm telling you that gangsters get dead fucked up in there. Understand? Understand? What I'm telling you? You ball for two years on the street and you get twenty. You ball for depending on where you from, how duckish you are. Ball for six months on the street and get you 30 years. Then told on a nigga. So that you got out. You never had to go up the road. They gave you a number. You came right on back home. Six months. Bam. Now you out this bitch working. So now you, you good for shit. Depending on how much, how many niggas you telling on. Like what kind of work you putting in. You might be out this bitch four years. You might be out this bitch four years and tell you like they didn't just had enough of your dumb ass and just bam you because you didn't you catching so many fucking charges out this bitch. They tell you nigga, I right, you working for us goddamn, but don't go here, don't go there. But you steady goddamn going all crazy and shit like that. You you thinking you goddamn cause soon as they like this nigga feel like he the police, so he just the um he just goddamn Denzel Washington. He just out this bitch going crazy. Nigga, your retarded ass and caught a whole motherfucking you know what I'm saying? I, out of the jurisdiction, these motherfuckers then CIA your ass. Oh, we, we don't know who the fuck that is. You call a detective name that don't even goddamn exist and shit like that? Nigga, it's over with for your stupid ass. And that's just how it go. Like this, this, like this, this is a system. This is a, this, this shit eat its babies. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no love here. But let's get back to it. Um, you in that bitch, man, got you a, you know, three years is what everybody praying for because they can do that. Anything more than that, you know, the you, you you might as well say goodbye to your bitch right then and there. She won't even treat dog, do you know your bitch will be right I love you baby every night while you in the county? As soon as that judge give you over three years, that hoe will act like she mad at you? This hoe gonna act like she mad at you. And you understand it. And you understand it. Because it's like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? She, she has to find a way to, like, she finna start bringing up all your old hoes. And she gonna, like, she been thinking about this shit while you was there. She been thinking about how this nigga treat on me. But you was there, like, cheat on me. I, I try to say treat and cheat at the same time. She been thinking about you know what I'm saying? Hoes, you fucking and shit like that. But because you out here and you, you know what I'm saying, real gangster or whatever like that, you out your presence is felt. You know what I'm saying? She can look over that shit. But now that you gone, you a ghost. She don't got nothing to hold on to. Your presence is in like, you know what I'm saying? The fact that you can fuck her, even if you stay at this whole house for a whole week, she is still a... It's still a goddamn, it's hope for dick. You know what I'm saying? She, It's, it's hopeful. She gonna get it, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, eventually. But now, it's like, I'm not getting it and you cheating on me, nigga. Not in everybody in the street, just, girl, couldn't be me. I got to get mine. Shit. 
Hmm, I remember when, when um, uh, I remember when JoJo went to jail. She, yeah. bitch, soon as he got sent it, bitch, I was straight in the club, bitch. She ain't know nothing. She, yeah. bitch, you better than me, go. You better, goddamn. You know, hmm, hmm. You know what they doing in there, don't it? Hmm. Yeah, go. Hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, yeah, Chris, Chris, yeah, with the with the Chevy, you caught that murder charge. Yeah, you know he was in there. Mm-hmm. You know what they said? I ain't not. Be careful, girl. We done lost your man to his bunk mate. I'm just saying. They in the whole ear. Streets start to talk wild. Streets start to talk about them in a way that you've never heard before because they respected him as he was on the street. A real street nigga. But now that he gone and everybody know he ain't coming back, you do not understand that out of sight, out of mind shit until a nigga get 20 years. Because that's the closest that a nigga can get to death. And the fact that he still is alive, it kind of makes him feel like a ghost. Because that's...